Wednesday devotion time. Great to have you with me. On Sunday, we spoke about going that second mile, and we used an example from the Old Testament in Genesis 24, where Abraham sent his servant to go find a wife for Isaac. And he came across Rebecca, and if you remember Sunday, Rebecca said, yes, some water you can drink. And without being asked, she also then said, and I will water your ten camels as well. And that goes far beyond the call of duty. And in Genesis chapter 24, verse 21, we read that the sermon, the servant, <laughs> it is a sermon, the servant watched in utter amazement at this one lady, young girl, going down, up and down, up and down all the time to fetch water for 10 camels, as I said on Sunday, were very, very thirsty. And after all of this happened, the servant gave her a gold nose ring and a bracelet. He never said before the time, I will give you something to do this. He just said, here is a gift. Thank you very much. And then the servant goes a one step further and he says, have you got room for me to sleep? Now, the Bible only talks about having room for me to sleep. But listen to what the uh, Rebecca says, and she says the following. She added, in Genesis 24, 25, she added, We have plenty of straw and fodder, as well as room for you to spend the night. So what is she trying to say? She says, man, I've got room for your camels, and I've also got room for you. <laughs> I've also got room for you. And if you read the passage further, she also had room for the servants, servants, those who accompanied him, because 10 camels didn't walk by themselves. Each one must have had a servant as well. And so they were entertained and they were given food and they got the point. Uh, they got to the point where all the men who were looking after the camels were able to wash their feet and they met Laban and so on and so forth. And negotiations began. And only then, only then, after going that second mile, and only then, if we follow Rebecca's example, was the blessing given. All the goods, all the labola, all those riches that the ten camels carried with them. And guess what? She then married Isaac. She booked her place in history. And from her going the second mile and the example that we're sharing now by offering accommodation not only to the servant and his servants and the camels, the Messiah was born out of her bloodline. Now, that's an amazing thing. You see, we are so Intro, uh, introverted, we are so clearly looking after self. That is so important. But in Hebrews 13 verse, tw verse 2 in the Amplified Translation, it says, Do not neglect to extend hospitality to strangers, especially among the family of believers, being friendly, cordial, and gracious, sharing the comfort of your home and doing your part generously for by this, some have entertained angels without knowing it. Entertained angels without knowing it. I'm not too sure about you, but I have had opportunities to do things for others. And after I've done that, I get that sneaky feeling in the back of my head. Maybe, just maybe I did it to somebody that was possibly an angel. You see... This is what Rebecca did. Without being told, she did, and she received the blessings. So often we are co coerced to bless, to give, especially financials. Give money, and God will give you money in return. Not with Rebecca. She just did it because it was in her to share, and God blessed her. I thank you for watching. I thank you for listening. I thank you that you're going to be hospitable and follow this example in Scripture. Father, I thank you that in Jesus' name, you are there for us to help us and to assist us to do that extra for somebody 
And who knows, Father, we might be entertaining one of your special angels. In Jesus' name, amen. See you again on Sunday. <laughs>